Now with football action from the third round. Granada Soccer Night, sponsored by Umbro. No one's won the League Cup more times than Liverpool. The record stands at five, including the last time out with Steve McManaman, quite outstanding. Oh, good play here by McManaman. He might finish it here. A super second goal. Liverpool have won 23 major trophies since Manchester City last achieved anything. That was the League Cup in 76. Never repeated, but never to be forgotten. The arms outside him. Donaghy prepared, though, to float it in towards Tommy Booth. What a goal! Stoke City's finest hour came in 72. Peter Dobing hoisting the League Cup, long before the strains of Delilah, and thanks to the old boy George. Red shirts away to the pounce now. Conroy going past Webb. A delicate chip there, a deep one towards Richie. Not it down again. And a good save! And Eastham! George Eastham! The old man has done it! The League Cup is one of the few competitions which hasn't had Kevin Keegan jumping for joy. But Keegan's a natural-born winner, and the Midas touch has rubbed off onto his Newcastle team of supreme entertainers. Simply the best of presents, and the people's champions already. That's according to King Kev. There's a lot of neutrals in the country whose team can't win it. We'd like to see Newcastle United win it. So we're, we've got the swing vote, if you like, as it's saying in politics. Last night's Coca-Cola Cup ties up and down the country had to contend with the first genuine signs of winter. We've the goals that counted, those that didn't. In fact, all the hits and all the misses. A very good evening to you. At Anfield, it's Liverpool against Manchester City. At the Victoria Ground, it's Stoke City against Newcastle United, the Premiership leaders and top scorers. Jim's here with the final analysis on both games and one or two other aspects to consider as well. But first, the main event and the most likely source of goals. Liverpool's Robbie Fowler, who made sure there was no way back for Sunderland in the last round. Scales again, Fowler has lost his man, Fowler through the middle. And Fowler, it's another superb goal for Robbie Fowler. City scored four against Wickham, one more than in all their Premiership games this season. Seven in total, four by Uwe Rosler. Lomas, aiming towards Gwyn Rosler. It's a terrific night for Manchester City. Their only victory in a troubled and beleaguered season. Now the daunting prospect of Anfield. Commentator Gary Blue. The record books will show you that on the two previous times, Liverpool and Manchester City have been drawn together in this competition. The winning team have gone on to win the cup. Now, Liverpool's success in the tournament would stretch the resources of the bookmakers. The thought of a Manchester City success would stretch the imagination of even the most ardent of their followers, given City's miserable run so far this season. Nine of this Liverpool team figured in last season's Coca-Cola Cup final. Recent arrival, Jason McAteer, who played for Bolton that day, replaces a suspended Rob Jones. Steve Harkness has managed to displace sticking a Bjornaby at left back, while Mark Wright's resurgence to his international form of five years ago means there's no place for Neil Ruddock in this Liverpool starting 11. There's a few here at Anfield who'd argue that Wright has been Liverpool's most consistent defender this season. Or well, Manchester City are without Phelan, Bigri and Flickrop, who are all injured. It means Richard Edgehill switches to left back, John Foster coming in on the right-hand side of the defence in a City side which have struggled to find the target recently. Quinn and Rustler lead the attack. This is the first of two meetings of the teams in the space of four days. Manchester City come here for a Premiership game on Saturday when they'll look for a much-needed leg at the table. 
but it's cup football tonight which also brings a dash of the unexpected to any game. Robbie Fowler, who scored seven of Liverpool's last 11 goals in all competitions, who scored the only goal against Sunderland here in the second round, second leg of this season's Coca-Cola Cup competition. Quinn turns away from right, helped on by Brightwell. Promising early move this by Manchester City, and they've won an early free kick. Given away by Jamie Redknapp. Watch Redknapp's left leg just came across the player. Win is posted on the edge of the penalty area. Rustler alongside him. They're bumping and barging into each other. Ready to launch himself for this free kick. King Clancy drives it in. And it's well fielded by David James. King Clancy's only goal so far this season has come in an international game. Now, this is Liverpool's first real attack. Here goes McManaman. Oh, terrific save by Akemo to deny Robbie Fowler. And Liverpool so close to taking the lead inside two minutes of the game. So Liverpool threatened to score with their first real attack. Redknapp hoists it in. Manchester City can thank this man already for keeping the scoreline blank. And look at the accuracy of Fowler's shot. Win. Scales forces the ball forward. Fowler. He needs support and has it from McManaman. Redknapp, cleverly done. Rush is waiting in the mid middle, oh, it's broken here to Rush! Middle again to the rescue! And the reflexes of the Manchester City goalkeeper are keeping them in this game. That slip there almost cost Manchester City dear. Corner flicked on. This time by Fowler, but nobody lurking at the back post to give Liverpool that extra bit of menace which they've shown in the opening four minutes of the game. Well, Liverpool really have gone for the jugular in the opening minutes. Studying concentration. And on board, no stranger to Merseyside, he made his name here with Everton. Now trying to rescue the fortunes of Manchester City. Liverpool already giving Manchester City their run around. That was certainly in the script. Tasty tackle. Belongs to John Foster. Oh, and Manaman certainly felt that. Manaman knows Foster's there. Redknapp in towards Rush. 1-0. John Scales on target for Liverpool. A thumping drive, crash pass by Gable. And nobody picked up John Scales on the edge of the penalty area. And when that ball broke kindly for him, his shot was true and accurate, and there was nothing Ike Amel could do on this occasion. Came off Simons and fell very sweetly for Scales. 
Costa. Liverpool is so good at winning the ball back. Makatev. Swaps passes with Red now. Red now again. Trying to find an elusive opening. McManaman's through. It's fallen to rush. Oh! Now, did Arkham will handle the ball outside the penalty area? The second save certainly took place outside the penalty area. But which part of his anatomy did Ike Emel use? Well, Ike Emel spared Manchester City's blushes, but it was a curious save. Firstly, denying McManaman. He was outside the area for the first save, and he saved with his foot the second time. Well played. McAteer, Barnes is onside. He only has Rush to aim at. Rush! Oh! So close to his first goal of the season. It'll come. He could well come tonight. France curled it in delightfully into Rush's path. Rush has scored his fair share of goals in this competition. In fact, he's not too far away from Jeff Hurst's record, which stands at 41. Suspicion of handball there against Fowler. And three waves play on. This is McAteer. Redknapp. Barnes. Through to Richard Edge here, looks uncomfortable to say the least in that left back there. Lemes. Another sloppy pass, to be honest. Oh, Quinn got a flick on. Rusla is turned right. Oh, he's just pulled it wide. Easily Manchester City's best chance of the game. How did I miss? And he will know. Well, not many attackers have got the better of Mark Wright this season. And Rusla certainly did there. Rush. McAteer. Fowler. He's gone for the corner. Oh. Wasn't that far away. Once again, look at the space Fowler's afforded here. And that invited the shot. Picking out Foster. Had a splendid game last season against Newcastle in this competition. This is King Clancy. Rusla. Lomas waiting in the middle with Quinn. Oh, he's missed it. I don't think Niall Quinn expected that ball to come all the way through to him. It bypassed a couple of Liverpool defenders. And another chance now for Manchester City goes begging. It was a poor clearance by Babb, he completely missed the ball. Both Niall Quinn and Uwe Rusler have both spurned opportunities to give Manchester City an equaliser in this game. Quinn, the whistle's gone. That's not going to count him a pride. Referee Stephen Lodge blew his whistle before the ball struck the net. There was a barge there by Quinn on right. Those two are having quite a tussle tonight. McManaman. Partners. McManaman. Stunley, nothing.
knuckles there of Ike Emoli, Manchester City goalkeeper. McAteer looking for his first Liverpool goal. Barnes is taking up a near post position. Wright's just on the edge of the six yard box. Scales two. Redknapp. Wright. Well, he's thrown himself energetically at all of these set plays. This time getting the end of. Redknapp's through pass. McManaman. Now, well, uh, it's possessed by King Clancy. This is Barnes. Redknapp. So, the only goal of the match so far comes from an unlikely source. John Scales, his first of the season, gives Liverpool the lead. But City have had their chances to equalise, notably through Niall Quinn and also their German international, Uwe Rossler. But the half-time score from Anfield is Liverpool 1, Manchester City 0. Have an unlucky break and your Rover dealer will give you an instant quote. And you'll be the first to know if anything else needs attention. Adventure has a new commander. Steven Seagal. This I'm trained for. Under Siege 2. So you want a rent outbreak? Yeah, good film, nice length, good colour, good quality, good production. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. I haven't got it. Well, you better go to Blockbuster Video. We stock more copies of the big films than anyone. Does your video shop stock as many copies? No. By checking every used car, your Rover dealer removes all the worry from buying second hand. Well, nearly all. Dear son, thank you for your letter. It was a lovely long letter. I'm sorry there's not much to do in the evening. We had a frost last week, but Father covered up the tomatoes, so it was all right. I'm sorry the food's not up to much. Never mind, I've sent you something. See you in nine months. Look after yourself, Mum. Kellogg's cornflakes, aren't they worth it? Voted Britain's best solo artist, brings you his number one album, Stanley Road. Featuring the hits You Do Something To Me, The Changing Man, and Broken Stones. Paul Weller, Stanley Road, the album. Out now. All over Britain, homeowners have less up top than they should have. He's got less up top. Believe it or not, so has he. And he's had nothing worthwhile up top for years. He, on the other hand, has just topped up with new, easier-to-handle Super Wrap Pink. Because to meet today's energy efficiency standards, loft insulation needs to be around 200 millimetres thick. So, if you think you're insulated against losing heat and wasting money, think again. Think Pink. Think Super Wrap Pink from Owens Corning. Change your mind about your new Rover, and you can simply return it to your Rover dealer. Whatever the reason. Two goals in six home games this season. Manchester City know the size of their task in the second half if they're to avoid elimination from this season's Coca-Cola Cup. Redknapp loses possession. Right at the start of the second half, this is King Clancy. No substitutions at half-time for either team. This is Lomas for 
City. Incidentally, Manchester City have scored just two goals in six away games so far this season. And they did waste a couple of really good chances in the opening 45 minutes. The only goal of the match so far has come from the Liverpool central defender, John Scales. And this is Mekatee. Losing finalists with Bolton in one season's Coca-Cola Cup final. No Nassi's influence on this game is growing by the minute. Scales. Mekatee. Rush brings Barnes into the game. Not for long, though. And he goes King Clancy. Gomez. Edgehill. King Clancy. Costa. What about the shots? It was on target. Well, that was struck straight at David James. New City are working themselves into shooting positions now. The referee apologises for handing possession back to City. Summerby. Edgehill. Powell is arriving here. Ricocheted off right. <laughs> Almost into the bath of Russell. City despite their league position are proving to be no slouches here at Anfield. Brightwell. And Summerby now. My fall to King Clancy. Two shots in as many minutes for Manchester City. It snaked along the ground and wasn't any real trouble for David James. Thought to be a handball there. And indeed the referee awards Liverpool the free kick. Then there's the guilty party. so dangerous and they're being penned back they suddenly break like with Manaman here it goes over and it's not going to be a penalty in fairness McManaman didn't really make a song and a dance about crash landing inside that city penalty area it was Foster's clumsy challenge and there appeared to be contact on the arm of McManaman he's a lucky young man Costa helps it forward, looking for Quinn. Rustler up in support. Summerby two. Much more even in the second half. Liverpool haven't been allowed to dictate the play in the way that they did in the opening 45 minutes. And there's a foul by Edgehill on Rush. McManaman has Hartless in support now. Just short of the hour mark, Liverpool still lead by a goal to nil. And this is Barnes. McManaman. Now here comes City on the counter thrust. King Clancy. Turning Bab this way and that. He's ridden the challenge of Bab. King Clancy! and did all his good work and after shrugging aside Bab here who was the most persistent of defenders he glad he steadied himself but not enough to have an accurate shot on goal
Redknapp. Howler now. Bombs. Rush links up with Fowler. Is this the killer blow for Liverpool? It is. Robbie Fowler makes it 2 0. And that could be the turning point in this cap tie. Sent through by Ian Rush. Shrugged aside the challenge of Kit Simons. And suddenly. Liverpool are not only in the driving seat, they've clicked the safety belt. Robbie Fowler's tenth goal of the season. My goodness, how they've relied on his goals this term. Well, City are going to have to rethink their tactics now. And they can't hang back any longer. And Robbie Fowler's finishing this season has been absolutely razor sharp. Maybe it was a mistake by Akirimel as we look again from behind the goal. Hartness. Fowler. Rush. They just won't go in for Ian Rush this season. Unselfishly there by Fowler, but driven straight at him. And that elusive first senior goal for this campaign eludes him yet again. 15 minutes left, Liverpool two up. Made by Quinn. McAteer down to Hartness. Where do you go from here? And the answer is back to Anfield in four days' time for a league game. Receives attention. Liverpool have the free kick. Neil Ruddock having his two penneth with. This is McManaman. Red nap. Rush! a long time for his first senior goal of the season and uh, when it comes it's an Ian Rush special he hung in the air as if suspended by a piece of string it's a wonderfully flighty cross by Redknapp and a superb header Good night and thank you. City fans are on their way home. King Clancy. Rusla. And to Quinn. And intercepted by Wright, who's had another wonderful game for Liverpool. Anchoring their defence magnificently.
City have tapped to a floor. Hartness had two attempts to find the net. His first was denied by a City defender. His third was thrashed in. Rossler. Support. There's rush up too. And scales. Collie Moore. Rush. Liverpool have broke clear of their tight rein uh, and enjoying themselves now in that city penalty area. That was rush going close. in finishing Manchester City had had their chances but spurned theirs Scales got Liverpool underway after nine minutes with a goal and although Liverpool had to wait to the latter stages of the second half to found their conclusive goals they are through to the next round of the competition the best of the lot fell to Ian Rush a splendid header and then Hartness weighed in with a fourth Eight minutes from full time. Liverpool convincing winners at Anfield. The final score: Liverpool four, Manchester City nil. This might be daft because you've already did it wonderful, and uh, you'll still you know, saw a fabulous goal scored. But I think it flattered them a little bit. But certainly, you certainly were in it. Certainly after half time, weren't you? I were in it for a long period after half time. Goals change games, uh, and as I say. Uh, the way you will have edited it, it will look very, very uh, one-sided, but uh, Liverpool know that it wasn't. Well, I think we played very well. Um, first half, you know, we passing the ball r around well, and uh, then second half, they had a 10 or 15 minute spell where they put us under pressure, but we overcame that, and I think it was a good team performance at the end of the day, and you know, 4-0, um, you know, I think, was a fair result at the end. Well, just picking up on Alan Bull's comment there, we, we always try uh, to reflect the balance of play, Alan, failing that there's always uh, Jim here to put things into perspective, and 4-0 uh, was a bit flattering for Liverpool. It was slightly flattering. I've got to say that Liverpool were the better side on the night, but Liverpool were very dominant in the first 20 minutes, the final 20 minutes. In between, City certainly had their moments. Having said that, early on, uh, Liverpool really laid siege on the, uh, on the City goal. Yeah, Ike did, Emel, uh, um, yeah but, but for Ike Emel, it could have been four after about 15 minutes. And he made some superb saves on the net. Here, McManaman sets up Fowler. He's just trying to pick a spot in the corner. But what a great save. That was the pick of the bunch tonight. Marvellous save. And then the goal. Niall Quinn was the one that lost John Scales. I think he's anticipating that the ball is going to find its way through. It doesn't. And he's away from Scales. And it allows the centre-back to get his volley in free. And he put it right in the corner. That's a great goal for a centre-back. OK. Well, listen, uh, City didn't, didn't look like a team with only three Premiership goals this season, having acquired only two points in the process. They had a, they had a bit of steel about them. Yeah, particularly at the start of the second half. What Alan, uh, whatever Alan Ball said at half-time really got them fired up. But their best chances came in the first half. Here, Rosler does so well to shake off right. And you think he should just be putting it in the corner. He goes and pulls it across the face of the goal. And then Rosler sets up Niall Quinn. But as it comes across here, I don't think Quinn's expecting Phil Babb to miss it. Babb does. It surprises Quinn. He snatches at it and just pushes it past the post. Now, City, credit to them. They did, uh, they did go and chase the game. But, of course, as the minutes tick on, then that's when you become susceptible to, to leaking goals well, again. Liverpool are good at that again at the moment, aren't they? Soaking up a bit of pressure and then waiting for the openings. And there was some lovely passing again here. Barnes to Fowler, little one-two with Rush. Now Fowler's away and the City defence are caught out. And when Robbie Fowler gets in this position, well, it's always going to probably end up in the back of the net. Although I think Immel could have done a little bit better on that one. And this is a classic header for me and Rush. Lovely ball across from Jamie Redknapp. And look at that for a header right in the top corner. Not a, bit, not a bad way to open your account this season. And uh, Steve Hartness got the last goal, but... Well, in fact, we're not going to show that, but here's King Gladsey. He's a bit of a, well, he's not really settled in too well this season. This was a great run, rode the challenge from Phil Babb, hit the shot over the crossbar. But Kinkladzi, I think, is still a little bit inconsistent. I think if you stuck him in that Liverpool side, he'd be a hell of a lot better.
Yes, it's good to see a left back, or, or in that case, not seeing a left back scoring for Liverpool, Jim. Well, it's the Victoria ground next for Stoke against Newcastle. The likes of Ferdinand, Beardsley, and the two armies French sensation, David Ginola. Takes on three players and still gets a shot in that could have produced a spectacular goal. Right now at Norweb, everything with a blue cross means that we've cut our sale prices even further. The Norweb Blue Cross sale. Don't miss it. Nobody beats Norweb. Hello. I'm Doug. I started working at Hot Point two weeks before they put the first man on the moon. And what I do is test washing machines. I take them to washing machine hell. And back. There's over six million